Remember Jesus, the man who emptied himself, who did not make these uh, great shows of power and came and died for us. But then God lifted him up and gave him a name which was above every name, the name that Jesus is Lord. This passage concludes, God highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that in the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And that is why we are here today. We all come with our particular needs and we all need divine help. But we also need the example of Jesus to show us how to live and to assure us that in Jesus God shared our experiences. He shared our sadness, he shared our gladness, he shared our weaknesses and our frustrations. And through that divine love that was in his heart, he triumphed over it all. And now shall we pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love to us. And we thank you above all for the coming of Christ to show us the way to live and to give us hope for eternity. We thank you for his life, for his suffering, his death and his resurrection. And we thank you that in the Spirit he dwells with us now. And we pray that we may open our hearts to him. Be with all those who are in special need. Give them strength and comfort and fill our own hearts with joy and peace. For Christ's sake, amen. Amen. Let's turn to page 77 to end the service, okay?